Welcome to lines to go installation videos. Today we will be installing brake lines on a 2013 Hyundai Elantra GT using lines to go part number BLH-101-SS. While this particular installation is being performed on a 2013 Hyundai Elantra GT, this set of lines will also fit the following year, make, and models as shown in your screen now. Lines to go lines are made using original equipment and forms and fittings that are CNC bent for an easy and precise installation. We have also upgraded to stainless steel braided Teflon hoses for rust protection and to prevent surface fouling. These have an unlimited shelf life and anti-static PTFE liner. This set of lines to go lines are made using 304L stainless steel for rust resistance that exceeds OEM standards. Tech tip. Disconnect the battery before working on a vehicle to reduce the risk of shorting out the battery on tools or lines. Lines to go lines are made with a sectional design for easier installation. We also use color coded unions on our sectioned lines. Just match the colors of the connections. Tools required 10mm, 12mm, and 19mm sockets and ratchet, 10mm, 11mm, 12mm, and 13mm wrenches, pliers and cutting pliers, drain pan, flat blade screwdriver, jack and jack stands. The level of difficulty for this installation is considered to be easy. One or more of the lines included in this set may have a shipping bend or twist. To remove a shipping bend, straighten out the section of line located between the two tags labeling the shipping bend. Start by disconnecting both battery terminals using a 10mm socket. Use a 12mm socket to remove the bolt that secures the battery into place and remove the battery from the vehicle. Next we will need to remove the PCM from the vehicle to have access to the fittings in the master cylinder. Start by removing the three bolts that secure the bracket to the vehicle using a 10mm socket. Next, lift up in the plastic arms on the electrical connectors to disconnect them from the PCM. Remove the PCM from the vehicle. Next, use a 13mm wrench to remove both threaded fittings in the master cylinder. Lift up on the plastic engine cover to remove it from the vehicle. Use a pair of pliers to remove the spring clamp from the vacuum line going to the brake booster and remove the hose from the engine. Next, raise and support the vehicle and remove all four wheels using a 19mm socket. At the front of the vehicle, remove the four bolts that secure the left front plastic cover using a 10mm socket and remove the cover from the vehicle. Place a drain pan underneath the front of the vehicle and unscrew the drain screw from the bottom of the radiator to drain the coolant from the vehicle. If the coolant is still in good condition, drain it into a clean pan so that you can reuse it when it comes time to fill the system. Once the coolant is done draining, tighten the drain screw. Next, we will remove the two coolant hoses at the firewall. Use a pair of pliers to remove the spring clamps and remove the two hoses from the heater core connection. Use a 10mm wrench to remove the two bolts that secure the brackets holding the brake lines at the firewall.
using a pair of side cutters, cut the two quarter inch lines at the firewall underneath the air conditioning connection. Use a 12 mm wrench to remove the two threaded fittings located on the side of the ABS module. Remove both ends of the primary and secondary lines from the vehicle. Next, cut the rest of the lines at the firewall below the air conditioning connection. Use an 11mm wrench to remove the remaining threaded fittings at the ABS module. Remove the three rear lines at the module from the vehicle. Next, use an 11mm wrench to remove the threaded fittings from the flex hoses located inside of each wheel well. Remove the lines from the plastic clips. On the inside of the left front wheel well located directly underneath the master cylinder, there is a vehicle mounted union. Use an 11mm wrench to remove the four threaded fittings. Next, use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the plastic clips that secure the plastic cover underneath the vehicle. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the two nuts that secure the plastic cover located in front of the fuel tank. Next, use a pair of cutting pliers to cut the rear lines to make them easier to remove from the vehicle. Cut the right rear line at the driver's side rear of the fuel tank beside the fuel tank strap and the left rear line at the left front of the fuel tank. Remove the rear lines from the plastic retaining clips. Using a 12 mm socket, remove the bolt that secures the left rear park brake cable to the body of the vehicle. Next, we will need to unhook the fuel filler and vent hoses from the filler neck in order to have room to route the line. Please note that if your vehicle has over a half of a tank of fuel, it is possible for fuel to leak from the filler hose when disconnected. Use a 10 mm socket to loosen the clamp on the filler hose and a pair of pliers to remove the spring clamp from the vent hose. Remove both hoses from the filler neck. Remove the four sections of the rear brake lines from the vehicle.
Use a 10 millimeter socket or wrench to remove the bolt securing the ground strap from the passenger side of the engine along with the nut that secures the horn to the vehicle. Position the horn off to the side. Remove the right front brake line from the vehicle. To begin the installation of your new Lines to Go stainless steel brake lines, start by installing the line labeled 03 into position. Start the threaded fitting into the top rear port on the ABS module. Next, start the other fitting into the left front flex hose and tighten both fittings using a 12mm wrench. Next, install the line labeled 06A into position. Start the threaded fitting into the top rearward center port on the ABS module. Start the other threaded fitting into the top union mounted inside of the left front wheel well. Tighten both fittings using a 12mm wrench. Next, install the lines to go line labeled 05A into position and start the threaded fitting into the top forward central port in the ABS module. Start the other threaded fitting into the bottom union mounted inside of the left front wheel well and tighten both fittings using a 12mm wrench. Next, install the lines to go line labeled 04 into position. Start the threaded fitting into the right front flex hose. Next, install the other threaded fitting into the top front port in the ABS module and tighten both fittings using a 12mm wrench. Next, install the lines to go line labeled 01 into position. Start the threaded fittings into the rear port in the master cylinder along with the rearward side port in the ABS module. Tighten both fittings using a 13mm wrench. Next install the lines to go line labeled 02 into position and start the threaded fittings into the front port in the master cylinder along with the forward side port in the ABS module. Tighten both fittings using a 13 mm wrench. Secure the lines at the firewall back into the plastic clip removed earlier and secure it using a 10 mm socket or wrench. Underneath the vehicle, install the lines to go line labeled 05B into position. Start the front threaded fitting into the lower union mounted inside of the left front wheel well. Tighten the fitting using a 12mm wrench. Next, install the left rear line labeled 05C into position. Start the rear threaded fitting into the left rear flex hose. Start the front threaded fitting into the union with line 05B noting the lines to go color coded connection. Tighten the union using a 12mm and a 13mm wrench. Tighten the fitting in the flex hose using a 12mm wrench. Next, install the lines to go line labeled 06B into position. Start the front threaded fitting into the top union mounted inside of the left front inner fender and tighten using a 12mm wrench.
Install the next section of the right rear line labeled 06C into position and start the front threaded fitting into the union with the line 06B, noting the lines to go color coded connection. Tighten the union using a 12mm and a 13mm wrench. Next install the final section of the right rear lines to go line labeled 06D into position. Start the rear threaded fitting into the right rear flex hose and tighten using a 12mm wrench. Start the front threaded fitting into the union with line 06C noting the lines to go color coded connection and tighten using a 12mm and a 13mm wrench. Secure the lines into the plastic clips. Replace the fuel filler vent hose and secure it using the spring clip using a pair of pliers. Next, replace the fuel fill hose and secure the clamp using a 10mm socket. Secure the left rear park brake cable using a 12mm socket. Replace the plastic cover using a 10mm socket. Replace the lower plastic line cover, securing it using the plastic clips. Replace the plastic cover at the left front wheel and tighten the four bolts that secure it using a 10mm socket. Bleed all four wheels using an 8mm wrench, making sure to keep the master cylinder reservoir topped up with fluid. Replace all four wheels and torque to the manufacturer's recommended specification using a 19mm socket. Replace the horn and engine ground strap back into position and secure them using a 10mm socket. Replace the two heater core hoses and secure them with the spring clamps using a pair of pliers. Replace the vacuum hose on the engine and secure it with the spring clamp. Replace the PCM back into position and secure the two electrical connectors using the plastic locking arms. Replace the three bolts securing the PCM and tighten them using a 10mm socket. Next, install the battery back into position. Replace the bolt and bracket that secures the battery into position and tighten it using a 12mm socket. Replace the battery connections and secure them using a 10mm socket. Replace the plastic engine cover. To refill the coolant system, Top up the fluid in the radiator and then start the vehicle and let it come up to temperature, topping up the coolant as the level goes down. This concludes the installation of stainless steel brake lines in a 2013 Hyundai Elantra using lines to go part number BLH-101-SS. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to purchase the lines you saw today, please call us at 1-855-781-5992, email us at info at linestogo.com, or check out our website link below. Don't forget to take advantage of our free next day shipping. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below, and we will see you in our next video.